Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of goose in love that love doing some trailer reactions together. Yes, we do. And it's Triple Trailer Tuesday, people. Woohoo! We got three trailer reactions uh, coming for A Plague Tale Innocence. So I'm curious about this one from a historical perspective, but I don't know much about it. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, and uh, all in January, we're doing uh, all requests. We did a request fest. This wasn't one of the winners, but it was one of the things that was uh, recommended, had some votes and they pitched it well, so now we're gonna watch it for uh, Triple Trailer Tuesday. Let's do it. Heretic, God judged you, and I am your executioner. What's that? It comes from the rats. Oh. Don't touch it. The Inquisitor will give us a reward if we catch the whole family. Get him up, get him up. Well done. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. I don't like this. Tight spot to be in. I promise you, tonight we shall dine like kings. But the feast isn't on your plate quite yet. No! Go, Leon! Don't lose the scent! This sunshine won't last long. We're lucky to be in this house. Mother? Shh. You are to stay here with your brother. Move! Come on! I won't ask again. Where is your son? Amicia! You have no idea. Leave while you still can. Kill the sister! Take the boy alive! You must protect him. Are you stupid or what? I'm not stupid! Again, where is your son? In good hands. I think that was his head coming off. Where are we going? Are. Come on, just run as fast as you can. Amicia Darun and her young brother Hugo set out on a poetic and harrowing journey deep into the dark heart of the plague ridden, war torn kingdom of France. Following an unspeakable tragedy, the siblings are forced to abandon their home. Pursued by the relentless Inquisition and unending swarms of ravenous rats. Is anyone there? Thrust into a brutal new reality, they will confront dangers no child should ever face. Meanwhile, Hugo is afflicted by a mysterious sickness, driving Amicia to hunt for a cure. She must do whatever it takes to protect her little brother. 
and survive in this harsh and hostile world. Though bold, Amicia is just a child, and direct confrontation with her foes is futile. That's what I was Instead, wonder. she will need to use her wits and ingenuity to best the threats that pave her journey. I, I, I didn't want to. Amicia! She had to. Finally! Hugo is far from just a burden. His innocence and naivety are offset by his courage, and he hmm. will prove vital in working with Amicia to overcome the obstacles ahead. Balancing light with darkness is critical to their survival. In some cases, Amicia will use this to her own grisly <laughs> advantage. Though inescapable in their new reality, death is still unfamiliar to the two children, and the piling bodies are sure to have an impact on both their young minds. Do you think we are hurting them? Through their journey, they will meet those trained in the art of alchemy, who will offer alternative ways to overcome foes or open new paths. It will protect you, and it's pretty too. Oh, all right. Now we can go. Thank you, Hugo. Both the plague and the Hundred Years' War with England have brought suffering to the lives of all in this decaying kingdom. And over time, the siblings will meet others in similarly dire circumstances. These dark times mean they aren't the only ones forced to adapt, developing vital skills to survive an uncaring world. And Amicia and Hugo will need all the help they can get. She keep resisting like that. Only our methods differ. We have the same goal. We both fight the plague. or something. Do they do with the That's so cool. Yeah, the little rat. Okay, so what'd you think? I want to play this game. Um, <laughs> I, I, would, I thought so. I I love the the origin of it in in that obviously we get this strong female hero, but she certainly doesn't start out that way in every any obvious capacity. She's just a sister looking after her brother. I'm really curious as to why the Inquisition wanted this little boy. Uh, I'm sure that's something that gets answered as you as you mm -hmm. play the game, and I'm. I'm guessing it's a fundamental part of the game as well. Um, but there was no obvious explanation in this. He's clearly not immune to disease since we know he falls sick later. So it seems really interesting that the Inquisition's after a child. I, I think in the historical perspective, usually when the Inquisition went after someone, they tended to go after like a whole family unless you were of royal descent and like the other family in power was trying to off you. And so it was really easy to just like stick the Inquisition on you because <laughs> like that's what they did. But I thought, the backdrop of this is super dark, super creepy, and scary. It's also got some some seed of historical truth. Obviously, they make it a lot grimmer in more obvious, scary ways than than what the plague times were, which were 
equally as dark and grim, but not quite so horror movie-esque in that sense. But yeah, I, I'm i very intrigued by it. What did you think? Well, they said that the the boys, uh, the, the brothers' um, illness was something that was like unknown. So maybe like, I don't know, there's some kind of prophecy or something like that, that his sickness or something like that can be like a cure or something for like the, for the actual plague. I don't know. I'm just trying to trying to think of like why they would be hunting uh, specifically him. Um, That's a good Or maybe idea. they think he's a source of the plague. Well, in one of the trailers, they did call out that it came from rats. So at least they seem to be aware that much in, in that capacity. Maybe he controls the rats. He's the Pied Piper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sure, why not? He's what New York needs right now. I'm just wondering about the gameplay. I don't know if it's a game like that would lend itself to our style of gameplay because like it seems like you know like probably have to be stealth. Yeah, uh, you can't just overwhelm with brute force. You have to like you know because she's a child. Yeah, think of the clever ways to. Uh, I mean, you know, it might be a good you know game to to train on get the inquire those skills. Yeah, for sure. Y'all to let us know what you thought about these trailers down below in the comments, and uh, if you played the game, let us know how it is, and if you know our gameplay and our game style, if, if it's a game that we would uh, we would enjoy, or maybe if we should check out the cutscenes or not. Um, we could survive it. Yeah. I always know it's better to play the game than just to watch the cutscenes, but uh, we have a long list of games we want to play. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, you know, it's just, it's just easier to see the cutscenes and it takes less time, and so you get through more games that way. Definitely. One thing I realized I forgot to mention was the whole getting eaten by rats thing, which mm -hmm. is really prevalent in this made me think of a good, scary Angelina Jolie movie called The Bone Collector, okay. um, which comes up with a bunch of terrible ways to kill people, but one of them is to basically bait someone into being a rat's dinner. Um, <sighs> and I just remember thinking like, there are a lot of terrible ways to die. We watched the medieval video on torture. So yeah. like, there are some terrible ways. You just watched the Until Dawn All Deaths yesterday. <laughs> and we did that too. Um, but I think one of, one of the ways is like to be slowly eaten alive by something just mm. seems. And I don't know, there were a ton of rats. Maybe it wouldn't be that slow, but yeah, it just, it gave me the the creeps. And on that note, uh, <laughs> thanks so much for checking out our reaction for A Plague Tale Innocence, which you keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>